Okay, we got everything glued. Um, everything on the board. Okay, so we nailed it down. Our last video showed putting it down and gluing all the joints, which we did. Um, so there it is. Now, you'll notice that it's really rough and ugly. Still got, I mean, we've got some wax paper left over. Um, really jagged edges. We're going to clean all this up. So don't, you know, I think this is the way we're going to leave it. And if any of you, hope, I was also going to note here on this video, <clears throat> you should already have a pretty good understanding of how to scratch build. This is more so how to build this plane. So, you know, when it comes to how to cut the stick, how to, you know, you don't want to pressure them in the slot because you'll make it all, you know, deform it, that type of thing. Those are some basic understandings that you should already have. This is just, you know, dedicated just for this plane. So, anyway, if you don't know what I'm talking about in some areas, you'll have to do some research or you feel free to shoot me a message and I can help you. Now, if you look on this one here, there's some things that, you know, we'll have to fix. You notice you can see on the camera how it's not straight. Like this piece kind of curves over. You can see it from that angle. So I'm going to have to fix that. I don't know. Sometimes you can just kind of cut it here and relieve it, and bend it back, and glue it again. I don't know. We'll we'll figure it out. I hate cutting these um, laminating parts though because that weakens it. And right now they're really strong. So um, I put. A double piece of wood there because we're going to have that rod going through we talked about last video for our uh, tail, tail wheel put this piece here to put our control horn in that we're going to cut same with on these ones here make sure you make a note that we had to put those pieces there to put the control horns in you need them on both sides and see how these are not attached so this is this isn't attached they didn't glue it and i'm going to have to cut this isn't glue just these points sometimes the glue will stick I'm going to have to cut that and cut that. Same on both sides. So this will be a piece, that will be a piece, and then this will be a piece. You'll have three separate pieces. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and sand everything down just to get rid of all the, the rough edges. So let's go ahead and cut these. And I'm going to try to do as much as I can on these videos because I know I've just been talking a lot, but now I'm going to start showing you a few things. So maybe I can get video of myself cutting my finger off, I don't know. So anyway, we'll cut this one. Those should be separating. There it goes. Oh, see? Had a little problem. No big deal. Just re-glue that. Those things happen. So we'll re-glue that one. And then we got this one here. Trying to keep this in the video. Hopefully, you can see it. Yep. These are the knives I use too. The blades. Slow John highly recommends these ones instead of the big triangular ones because they're much fatter. These are a lot skinnier, and you're not pushing the wood apart, especially when you're cutting these little sticks. Mm. There we go. So that one cut. <clears throat> so now that's what it's supposed to look like, not this. So, and also I was going to mention, uh, I use setter. And I know some guys that build don't use setter, and I don't understand how they can build an airplane without using setter. So, highly recommend it. Um, Slow John taught me to use odorless, but it got to be so expensive that now all I use is just the cheap stuff, the middle, medium thickness. I don't go thick and I don't go thin. I go right in the middle. It seems to do a pretty good job. So, and the setter, come on, because I'm not boring you with these little details here. Um, let's see, here's that the one that was on. This one. Shoot. There we go. Okay. So now we'll set it. Okay. So that's set. 
our next step we're going to be sanding it um, sand them down with my sanding block. Now if you don't have a sanding block especially if you scratch build you really should get one and I'll show you what I made I should have showed this at the beginning, first of the video but we really didn't need to use them <coughs> I've got three different sizes so this big one is perfect for this type of stuff because what I do all I do is I took a piece of wafer board um, spray it with some spray adhesive on both ends let it get real tacky, let it dry and then put them down like this, put it like a big toolbox on top of it, let it sit overnight, and then just trim off the excess. And it's a perfect sanding block. You can do them with different grits. I can't remember what this grit is. Just go like that. And get them down. You gotta be really careful with these because these you get going crazy sanding them and you'll catch them on the corner and rip apart the tips and you think, oh it's gonna deal, but these laminated parts are real pain to build so be careful hate to ruin your build getting this far so anyway this is what we're going to do from now on for, for this rest of this video I won't bore you with it get everything sanded be careful when you're sanding around these corners you don't want to round them because they're going to be sitting in you know a nice tight spot such as that and the way I, I sew my hinges we don't put in regular hinges they'll be just like that when I sew them other people put in those stupid hinges and it pushes it out like this so that everything isn't lined up well ours will so it'll be like that it'll be nice and pretty so i'm gonna get everything sanded down and then uh once i sand everything down then we'll probably either work on starting the wing or i may do some covering i don't know we'll just kind of see what we're in the mood for but that's about it